Hello, friends Lucky Network. In this video, there will be exciting stories while walking around looking for a fan. Therefore, don't forget to subscribe first. For those who haven't subscribed, come on. Horror Story, the most haunted school in Indonesia. Is there your school? Schools are generally a means of studying and obtaining educational supplies. But who would have thought that schools also provide horror stories and impressions that often give goosebumps? Believe it or not, the school is not only inhabited by a group of students or teachers, it is possible that invisible creatures have been around for a long time before the school was built. Here are the most haunted schools in Indonesia with various horror stories in them. Is your school here? SMA Negri 5 and SMA Negri 3 Bandung. Maybe many already know about the horror stories circulating at SMA Negri 5 and SMA Negri 3 Bandung. It is said that there is a female ghost named Nancy. She is a Dutch noni who has existed for a long time where before the school was built it was a former Dutch house. This building was designed by a Dutch architect named Charles Prosper Wolf Shoemaker, who was formerly named Hooger Burger School Te Bondung, HBS. According to stories circulating, the ghost of Nancy often appears right on the top floor of the school hall. Many versions have emerged regarding Nancy's story. According to the description of a Bondung resident who also attended school there, Nancy's story begins with a love story that was not approved by her parents, because Nancy fell in love with a native man, as a result Nancy chose to commit suicide. There is also another version which says that a Dutch girl was killed and then raped, but according to another version, Nancy's ghost died due to a massacre during the Dutch colonial period until her ghost haunts a building that is now SMA Negri 5 and SMA Negri 3 Bondung. That said, if we are curious to see Nancy's figure, then we have to go around the school three times. If we're lucky, Nancy's figure will appear in the window above the school. You want to try? Vocational High School Terracanita 1 Jakarta. This school, which is located in Kabayoran Baru, South Jakarta, also has horror stories in it. It is said that this school, which has been established since 1962, has a story circulating that there is a figure of a spirit resembling a nun who often appears in the school corridor area. Many say that the figure of the nurse resembles a nun and often reveals her form. This school also increasingly gives the impression of horror where once it became a mass possession. Saint High School Angela Bondung. Horror stories at the school then came back from Bondung, namely Saint Angela which is located on JL. Merdeka, Bondung, which was founded in 1951. According to stories circulating, there is a painting in the teacher's room where the hair in the painting grows longer every year. It is said that there was a story that there was a female student who committed suicide by hanging herself in the school toilet, and her spirit was wandering around. However, there are also other spooky stories where you can often see the figure of a nun or nun walking as if floating around the school's hallways. Tugu Malong High School Another haunted school came from Malong, it seems that many people already know about the horror incidents circulating in this school. Believe it or not, this school which is known as a combination of SMAN1, SMAN3 and SMAN4 Malong also has various horror stories, you know. The most viral horror story is that the floor tiles at this school often appear with fresh red blood spots when the floor tiles are about to be cleaned or even replaced with new ones, more and more blood appears, out of nowhere the origin of the blood appears to the surface, until now the school does not know much about it and many associate this incident with mystical things beyond reason and it is said that anyone who replaces the tiles will fall ill. It doesn't stop here, because in this school there is also a tunnel which is called the Forbidden Tunnel. According to the story circulating, there used to be two students who were so curious about entering the tunnel, 
As a result the two of them ran away screaming hysterically when they saw the strange and scary things in the tunnel. State Vocational School 1 Yogyakarta The most famous horror story in this school is the story of a female ghost named Mbak Yayak. It is said that Mbak Yayak was a student at this school. She tragically died of suicide by hanging herself in a schoolroom because she was pregnant out of wedlock. That said, if we are curious to see Ms. Yayuk's figure, then just play the Fur Elise song, whether this is just a myth or reality. However, many say that the figure of Ms. Yayuk was once seen while playing the song Fur Elise while playing an old piano. Saint High School Aloysius Bondung the story of the Dutch colonial era long ago often accompanied the mystical story at St. Aloysius Bondung which has been established since the 1930s. It is said that according to stories circulating this school building is a former Dutch heritage, while rumors are circulating that there is an underground room in the school building which is believed to be a place of torture and mass slaughter by PETA soldiers against Dutch soldiers. As a result, there are many horror stories circulating in this school. According to the presentation of the students, they often hear footsteps lined up and groans of people asking for help in the school corridors. Not infrequently, figures of Dutch soldiers and Noni appeared in the school corridors. Not only that, there were also reports that a headless ghost was often seen looking for its head at night in the school hallways. State Vocational School 2 Yogyakarta. One of the oldest schools in Indonesia is SMK Negri 2 Yogyakarta, located on JL. AM Sanggaji 47 Yogyakarta also has various horror stories in it. This school, which was once a relic of the colonial era, is called Princess Juliana School, PJS and is said to have been used as a prison for prisoners during the Japanese colonial period. According to the story circulating that this school used to be a hospital operation site during the colonial period, in the school building there is a hallway which is the place to the automotive repair shop which used to be a mortuary room. Not only there, at SMK Negri 2 Yogyakarta, it is said that there are haunted spots that are guaranteed to make goosebumps run down. Some people tell that there is a corridor staircase which is known as the border between SMK Negri 2 Yogyakarta and SMK Negri 3 Yogyakarta. The stairs the corridor is called Kulin Ndso which is believed to be the place of massacre and disposal of colonial mass victims. Besides that, there is a mathematical theory room which is believed to be the main door to the basement, where this room is the most haunted place in the school and often appears various figures of spirits that often appear. What do Butinesian think? Is there another school that is more sinister and holds many other mystical stories? Okay, thank you friends, for reading this story. Look forward to the next story. Let's continue looking for fans.